<laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or wherever you're at today. Today, I have the six things that you should do to get better performance. Let's go. All right, so step one is gonna be startup tasks. I know it sounds stupid, give me a minute. All right, so basically what you do is you go into task manager. If you don't know how to get here, you can usually right click here and it says task manager. So the first things we wanna do is go to startup tasks. We want to go and turn off everything except for the Windows security and if you have it, Realtek audio. That'll be your audio. If you turn that off, you won't have any audio. And then just turn everything else off. All right, on to step two. Step two, we're gonna to go to services and we want to go in here, except this is step two. We're going to go to services and we want to go in here. So this is Windows services, but it's not. So we actually have to right click in here and hit open services. Now we can get to the real services, which is what we want. There's three things in here that I recommend you turn off. First thing, Windows talking to itself. Uh, back to like the main servers. That's right here, connected user experience and telemetry. You don't need it. Um, just right click it, properties, click on disabled and apply. We will we will restart the PC and that'll automatically fix itself when you do the restart. Next thing down is themes. This will just use, uh, depending on your system, about 0.2 gigs of VRAM. There's really no reason to have it on. So we're just gonna scroll all the way down to themes, right click it and do the same thing as before, disabled and apply. Now we're gonna go all the way down, Windows search. This is uh, like, the way that Windows, like, when you open this thing, it, it'll tell you, like, uh, the search feature has been disabled or something here, but you can type in here, and let's say I want to type in uh, 3D Mark, you know, uh, 3D Mark. There we go. It still shows up. Search indexing is off. It still came up in zero time at all. Um, so you don't need this. So just the same thing as before, set it on disabled and apply. So we're going to go to the next step, which is background tasks. Background apps. I'm in here. Don't just like blanketly kill this. Like some YouTube channels are like, ah, oh, just kill this. And like all of a sudden it'll be better. And then like all of a sudden you're having issues running a calculator or your camera or whatever. Go in through, check each thing. Like, you know, you don't want Cortana in the background. You don't need, you don't need Disney plus in the background unless you're watching videos or something. But I mean, realistically, you're probably watching them in the browser anyway and not the app. Uh, mail and calendar, Groove, Maps. You don't really need any of this stuff. If you use Office, leave that. Um, but like a lot of the stuff you really just don't need. Windows animations. I know this sounds silly, but it doesn't take much time at all and it's really, really simple. So you just look up advanced system settings. It just comes up immediately. So you click that, there's a little blue button. I recommend doing custom, but in order to do that the easy way, because this is what it'll look like when you log in. So what we want to do, instead of trying to click these things randomly, I'd recommend doing this. Go to adjust for best performance and then turn on I mean, animate controls and elements inside Windows. This will make GIFs work. Uh, you can use enable peak if you like the whole thing to like pop up on your screen when you click that, or if you just want them at the bottom like I do, you can just, um, if you want them just at the bottom, you can go in and leave it alone. I'm going to leave mine off, but you feel free to do it if you'd like. Show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, and smooth edges of screen fonts. Out of all of these, if you choose to just, uh, like, I can't, I don't wanna, I want the most performance possible. You know, I don't want any of these. I highly recommend at least do this one. Like, of all of them, just do this one, minimally. Then all you gotta do is hit apply. It does take a couple seconds and then we're good. Or feel free to take pictures and tell me what your uh, stuff is in the comments below. But before we restart, we got two more things to do. One of them is storage settings and the other one is privacy settings. So let's do storage settings first. So you just type in storage settings in the bottom here. That's all I did. And then up here, storage. So like, I'm fine, but you might be in the red right now. That's fine. This'll, this'll help save you something. Configure storage sensor, run it now, turn it on. I recommend running it every week. I leave this on, delete recycle bin files, so you can just leave all this. Um, but running it every week is really nice. So what this does is this takes your temporary files, which I'll show you here. Right here it says temporary files, it's right under your disk here. Temporary files, this is just stuff that Windows has accumulated. So what we can do 
is we can go in and don't select your downloads folder. Leave this alone because that's all the stuff you've downloaded. You don't want to get rid of it. Um, you can click your recycle bin though. You don't need the, the delivery optimization files. And so you can just do that and hit remove files. You don't actually need to keep the screen up either. It'll do its thing in the background while we work on the last thing. Step six, privacy settings. I'm not gonna be able to show you all of this, but um, like once it goes to activity history, like it'll be like showing my personal information. So you guys just, uh, when you go to this one, just turn it all off, um, uncheck all every box. You don't need any of that stuff. But here and under general, we're just gonna go over the first five. In the privacy settings, we just wanna stop Windows from talking to Windows basically. So we just wanna turn all this stuff off. You know, you don't want like, you know, let advertising ads and stuff and let websites provide locally relevant content. And it's just, you don't need any of that. Speech, same thing. Don't like worry about my speech recognition, inking and typing information. Nope, you don't need it to learn how I type. Just do the required. Um, and then that is pretty much it. Close down everything, restart your PC, and then come back and then feel free to let me know if it gave you any help or um, made your system way faster. I hope you had a wonderful day. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Peace.